Hey, this is Jay from Fresh Vintage YouTube channel. I'm here with Lee from Cool Boss. Hi guys, welcome to SEMA 2022 and the Cool Boss booth. Uh, looking forward to sharing the products with you and their capabilities. And we'll be back in a second. Welcome back everybody. Yeah, my name is Lee Franklin. I'm the product manager for the Cool Boss line. And I just want to take an opportunity to share these products with you and why we're so excited about them. About 18 months ago, the CEO came to me and he's like, Lee, I want a best in market product. And that's what we've given. So this right here is the CV16. And it's been designed from the bottom up to be the best in the market. Best product from every different aspect. Not only from being an efficient evaporative cooler, but all the other things that affect productivity, both quantitative and qualitative, right? The quantitative being for the guys that are worried about money, the qualitative for the things that your end user needs to know and feel good about themselves. So in this particular case, uh, we'll start out with the control panel and the different capabilities that it has. Right? So the control panel not only has the fan and the, the water that goes through it, but what's really excited about the evaporative cooler are the creature comforts, right? So we know that the psychology of evaporative cooling is really important, right? So the different things that affect this are sound, lighting, and then air quality. So when we built these, we have an anion generator, and what that essentially does is it cools the air, or it, uh, it cleans the air. You have a halogen light up here, and what that does is that allows the, the end user to put light on it, whether it's working topside on a car, working underneath a car, or any other place where they need that light. And then what's super special about this product is this ducting kit. And why is because we're the only company in the market that has a ducting kit. And this is, this is a difficult thing. It has to be engineered in such a way because ducting kits Right? It causes back pressure, back pressure causes static, and static and water, they don't want to work together. We were able to figure out how to do that in such a way where now we can put air wherever the customer needs it. You can set this outside, move it around the corner. As it is right now, this thing's only at about 40%. Turn it up, and you're talking about being able to, to put out air efficiency of about five six thousand cubic foot per minute this is the best in the market so really really excited about being able to offer this feature not only because it does serve the greater good of the customer but it's the best in the market it's the only one in the market and that's what's exciting for us. besides the creature comforts here i really do want to get into the meat and potatoes of what makes the cool boss of Africa so special so if you want to join me back here So this is the media. This has really kind of been revolutionized by us. As you can see, it's black. Well, essentially what this is, is this is resin impregnated, and it does so many things that your other evaporative coolers just don't do. Other evaporative coolers, this is essentially cardboard, and when it gets saturated, right, it gets soft. And when it gets soft, the fan closes up the flutes, and you lose efficiency. The other part of it is, when you have an evaporative cooler, you don't want the water evaporating out the back, right? You end up spending about 30% of your water that's being evaporated out the wrong side. So as the water comes down into the cooler, it hits the resin impregnated media and it pushes the water forward. And as a result of that, you don't end up with that big uh, loss of water. The next thing about it, which is really exciting, is if you I don't know if you can see it, but inside there you'll see light. This is the angle of the flutes. So this is optimal. It's seven degree angle. So that not only does it maximize the amount of saturation that you get inside the media, but it also optimizes airflow. So with optimal airflow, you get greater velocity, greater velocity, you get greater cooling. Nobody else approached it like that from a scientific vantage point. 
They try different things, it doesn't work. That's not how uh, uh, Cool Boss does it. Cool Boss uses the science to make it most effective. So I'd like to come over here and show you. This is another uh, Cool Blast product. This is the CB28. The CB28, like the 16, is very special because these evaporative coolers were designed with a vortex in mind. And when you, you're like, well, what's a vortex? A vortex is a process by which airflow is optimized. So up inside here, there's these veins. You can see up in here. And what these do is as the fan blade turns, the veins grab the air and it accelerates it. And it's not getting caught on anything. So it does two different things. Number one, it goes through this device right here, which is super cool. Let me show you something here. That's an anion generator. And as you can see, with the plates on, essentially what is that is doing there is as the air is flowing around inside, they're flowing through these plates and it's killing bacteria. So this goes back to the creature compass. The things that we know that optimize productivity, like sound, light, quality of the air. So as we were designing these things, we were taking all those into account. The next thing is, on a lot of the other competitors' coolers, well, let me turn the light back on a second. What they do is they use the level indicator to shut off the pump. Well, what that does is, is if the level indicator gets stuck, the pump draws the water all the way down and the pump burns up. What we did is designed the pump with the low level water shutoff switch inside the pump. So it gets to a certain point where between the two probes, it opens the circuit and shuts the pump off. So it never burns up. And our strategy here and a lot of different people do it different ways. Our strategy was to build it tough, build it so it lasted. And by doing that, will you be buying fewer over time? Yes, maybe. Or what you'll do is you'll go tell people, this is an awesome evaporative cooler. And that's really what we want. We want to be the best in the market, not just in efficiency, not just in creature companies, but when it comes to actually lasting, right? Being a product where the customer goes, I love this, it's gonna last forever, and that's why I wanna be a cool one. So the last thing that I wanna cover here is really the, the capabilities of these coolers and why they're also best in market. So the three different coolers, we call this the Cool Blast Series. This is the CV16. The number equates to the size of the fan. So this is a 16 inch fan. This one has a 5,000 uh, cubic foot per minute capability. This is the CB28, 28 inch fan. This is about a 10,000 cubic foot per minute cooler. And this is the CB36. This is the most capable one when it comes to, to airflow, air movement. This is a 13,000 CFM evaporative cooler and any one of these things can be used in almost any application to make your space you know, more hospitable.
to move on to the Cool Breeze series. Now presently we have three different models here right now. One is the CB12. CB12 is just like we were talking about on the other side. It's a 12 inch fan blade. You have a CB14. You have a CB26. All the same concept. But what's special about these is the louvers. So when we talked about the Cool Blast series, um, the whole point of that was to have great velocity, right? To be able to push air out as far as you can. In this particular case, the Cool Breeze series, right? You have the louvers, so you can have the louvers that can adjust up, they can adjust down, and then we have an automatic louver inside. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's shifting back and forth. And what that allows you to do, instead of pushing great amounts of air out in a velocity, it allows you to cool a space by moving air around. So, now, if you go online, you start looking for these, these evaporative coolers. One thing you're not going to see, which I'm really excited about, actually, is the 26. Now, why is this important? Well, number one is we're doing research on it right now, market research, and we've only had about 40% of the people that have come and into the booth and talked about it. There's like, I like this. Well, you can't have it right this very second. And I just QC'd it, did the quality control on it, brought it to SEMA, and the good news is you'll be able to get it soon enough because I just approved it for production. So super excited about being able to put this in the market because the sheer size of it and the ability to be able to cool a large space with the, the louvers make it a perfect tool for large areas where you can be in a warehouse, but you may have three guys that are lined up at workstations, and it's still gonna be very effective. So this is really exciting for me. It took a long time to develop it, and it did exactly what we wanted it to do. So, this is the Cold Breeze Series 12, the 14, and the 26. So now there's one more thing I wanna share with you that nobody gets to see, but I'm very excited about talking about that. And that is the filtration system that we're working on right now. And why is it important? Because nobody else in the market, it's not one of those things where it's just an ambiguous statement. Nobody else in the market has a filtration system that is going to allow the evaporative cores to last long. They don't have them that's gonna allow the media to last long. So what's super exciting about this is it has three different phases, right? It has a spin down filter that allows you to clear out the particulates. It has a calcium inhibitor that allows you to break down the hard water. And if you have 100 people that come in here that know about evaporative coolers, 80 of them will say, I have terribly hard water. This product is going to go able and break down the calcium which will prevent it from damaging the coolers. And the last thing is we're gonna use UV light to kill the bacteria that's in the water. Nobody else has it. And so why is it particularly exciting besides being able to use it on our own coolers is that there's competitors out there that don't have anything. They're gonna want these filtration systems so that they can put them on theirs because they don't have anything. So really excited about that. Wanted to share that because that's one of the really great things about Cool Boss and our parent company, which is Benpack, is that we are progressive when it comes to R&D. We are progressive when it comes to pushing the envelope as far as innovation is concerned. And I'm super excited to be a part of a company that does put products out like this that nobody else has.
stopping by the booth. My name's Lee Franklin, and I hope you enjoyed the tour.